Alrighty, so the hate in Karnan is on rotation this week and I chose it. And I can confirm, it's okay. Not bad, not good. Basically what the Incarnate form does is changes the hate into shooting these projectiles after every melee hit that explodes a short while after impact. Yes, these projectiles knock you back, so if you don't use Prime Show Footed or Inari or a frame that has knockback immunity, well, rip. The projectile applies heat as well as the base IPS that the hate applies, which is impact, puncture, and slash. Firstly, come along with me to talk about the evolutions. The first evolution is the Incarnate as per usual and gives you 100% melee damage, sprint speed, and bullet jump as well. Second evolution, for the first one, we have increased damage by 30 and with only a melee weapon equipped, 100% combo count chance. Not the best, but I can confirm it is way better than the next one, which is increased damage and with the dread and the spare equipped, you get plus 30 initial combo. Now I have no idea why on this planet you would choose this unless for some reason on this earth you are a stalker weapon fanatic. Unless you have all three stalker weapons with the incarnons then yeah okay but otherwise I just find this whole evolution mid. So go for the first one if you only want to use a melee for some reason. Third evolution range, wind up speed and then combo duration. Definitely choose combo duration here. The last one is the usual, crit chance, status chance, and then the mix. I went for status chance here for the setup we are running in this video. I tried crit and honestly, it's not that great. To the build. Now for the setup that we are running, we are going to go for the good old gladiator might for the crit damage and crit chance for combo, blood rush, weeping wounds for the large amount of status procs, berserker fury for the attack speed because one handed sides are very clunky with these stances. So attack speed is really nice. Condition overload. Now to quickly touch on this, I tested this out in the simulacrum with the incarnate form and I noticed it doesn't really make a huge difference with the incarnate projectile which was to be expected however this will work when you're hacking and slashing enemies right in front of you with the hate itself so I would suggest using this with a new core or an epitaph primer with viral. Organ shatter for crit damage, Karnas manable so the slash weighting is higher and higher status chance as well, and then a bane for the double dipping of slash procs. And then we go for the stance which is reaping spiral. There are pros and cons with the hate and Karnan. On the one hand it gives you heat procs which drops enemies armor, and with the stacking of status chance you actually apply quite a bit of heat procs plus, you add your priming of viral from your primer or panzer and you do quite a bit of damage from your heat procs plus your slash procs. Then on the other hand the base damage of this weapon is not the best with the Incarnate and it has stagger which for those of you who don't have stagger immunity aish it's a tough one for you but you can easily fix this by using a naru poise or using stagger immune frames the problem i have with this weapon is the second Incarnate forcing you to have either no weapons or having only the stalker weapons which is just I don't know. Personally, I don't like that. I don't like being forced to have certain weapons to have certain bonuses, even though the bonuses aren't that strong in the grand scheme of things. So I say ignore the second evolution and go for a primer with the new core and use a grouping ability so that you can gain your combo quite easily. And you can also run a build with viral if you don't want to prime. That will also work, but you will lose out on some crit damage multiplier mods and scaling, sadly. Also, run Naramon with this weapon for the combo DK. You will thank me later. This brings me to my next point. 100% get a Riven for this weapon. I don't have one, but I can tell you it will do huge damage with this weapon with a Riven because the Riven disposition is pretty good. So get a Riven. It's probably expensive now, so rip. Overall, my final thoughts are it's good, but it's not amazing. And definitely not the best. I would have preferred it for heavy attacks, would be stronger, but it doesn't scale so well. And Gauss go uh, speed with this weapon, by the way. So this weapon is so-so. I would say you can get it. You're not gonna be disappointed in the sense that it's gonna be absolutely garbage. You can still do heavy attacks. You can still do a heavy attack build if you have a setup for that already, but the status chance is quite nice with the heat procs and the incarnate form projectile. Hope you enjoyed the straight to the point video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.